Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Myself and John are now having a look at some Volsung. Yes. And you've picked these out because you have decided to go for the Inventors. I have, yes. If you, We did unbox these previously, the, the Inventor Starter Box. We did. We, we did. did. And I fell in love with them. Yes. Because you were all like, you know, maybe was it the Ashen Oak? I suggested the Ashen Oak mm. for you because they're a very easy starter set. Yep. But then we got onto the Inventors. They're a little bit more difficult to run on the tabletop. But yep. once you have the trick of it, they are rock solid and really tough. And as a lot of people out there will know, I pick my armies based purely on aesthetics. Yeah, which meant <laughs> me explaining rules meant absolutely nothing to John. <laughs> he, he was like, the Ashenok are really easy to pick up. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. But that guy has a robotic arm. Yeah. And he has robotic butlers. And he has a woman with a gigantic wrench. And I was just like, nope, I'm playing these. And he's like, but yeah. they're a little bit harder to pick. I know I'm playing these. Yeah, you also have the lab assistant who's just throwing random chemical valves everywhere. Yes, <laughs> the closer I looked at that model, because I've been painting it recently, <laughs> he, was, he looked so shocked at what's happening. Yeah, he's like, that. ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what we're having a look at today is the biomechanical golem for yes. the Inventors Club and Luigi Campari, who's one of their heroes. Mm -hmm. So this possibly could be an expansion for your forces, I'm guessing. I I certainly hope so because they will be coming with me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we'll have a look at the biomechanical golem first. Yes. Now, this is one that some people may recognize if you've had the kind of childhood that we've had. That sounds horribly suspicious. But anyway, let's get on with okay, it. Okay, so uh, the first thing is you have the gigantic robotic hand. Yes. We then have the main control panel, I believe, because we've got our little pilot in here who's a little white lab mouse. Who looks very familiar. He has a very large head. Mm -hmm. He does have a very large head, and yeah, he's, he is a mouse in charge of a robot. Yes, uh, we then have what appears to be the head of the golem. Yes, which is kind of hilarious because it has nothing to do with the pilot at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we then have one of the arm segments, I believe. Yep, that's the arm for the hand. Yep. Uh, we then have the shoulder of that hand. This looks really cobbled together as if the person that built it didn't really know what they were doing. Which just explains had to, just had to grab whatever components they could from the, the inventor's lab. Yes, which explains a lot uh, when we look at the pilot. <laughs> yeah, uh, we then have the two legs again, very roughly made. Yep, as if they've just been scrounged from spare components. Mm -hmm. We then have the gun arm. Yes, with another little white lab mouse on it, a very skinny, rather derpy looking lab mouse. Yep. Narf. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who he could be. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll put this out of the way and we'll have a quick look at the stat card. So I'm just, <laughs> it's not I, that, it's not that. I'm just humming a little tune. <laughs> all I'm doing, so, humming a little tune. So here we have the artwork for them. Uh, let's see, two actions, not bad, move four, reasonably slow. Fight three is quite good and strength six is horrendous when it hits you. Mm -hmm. uh, guns three, reflex three. Reflex three is actually reasonable for a golem. Yeah. Uh, we then have the actual special rules. So we have the golem special rule, which means it has to start within 12 of a, a scientist, otherwise it just moves towards them. Yep. We then have the try to take over the world special rule. Gee. Hmm. Uh, we then have Pinky's gun, which is a ranged weapon. Strength uh -huh. five, uh, gets zero modifier and eight inch range, minus one in 16 inch range. And it's actually a quick weapon. Mm -hmm. So you can actually move and fire this, which is, which is quite interesting. So, uh, for the try to take over the world special rule, okay. I'm going to read this. Okay. This model may use cards as if it were a hero. It's not a hero, right. but it may only use them for heroic deeds. Okay. So, for heroic deeds and stuff, I think that might actually be whenever you're paying in cards to actually increase your melee and your, uh, your shooting damage. Okay. So, that's actually quite cool. Whoa! What? Armor 7. Uh-huh. That's nasty. That's similar armor to the, the robotic butlers, isn't it? Yes, it is. And they are tough as nails. It's yeah. got five damage as well, which is actually better than them. Mm -hmm. Although it does cost you three, which is quite expensive. Yeah, but so, it, it, it may be a point sink, but it might actually be very effective. Yeah, I'm guessing it could be quite effective. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. We will see, because I do want to get you on the gaming table with Wolfsung at some point. Yes, and I, I am overly eager to start. Yeah. So our next miniature is Luigi Campari, who is a hero. All right. 
So, you understand how Volsung works with its hero systems? Uh, no. Okay, you have so. not explained this to me. Each hero generates your money for the game, right? Okay. Whenever you come to the table, you only show your opponent your heroes. Okay. You then both go away and build the rest of your band from your henchmen. Right. So, there's sort of a, a meta moment of, okay, I've picked my heroes for this week. Okay, I can see his heroes. I think I need this, that, the other to actually sort of help me to beat him. Okay. You know, so it's it's very flexible whenever you're coming to the table for your list building, which I quite like. Mm -hmm. But uh, Luigi himself, being a hero, he'll generate you three. Right. So our biomechanical golem... Costs three. Or biocognitive golem costs three. You right. get it? I get it, yeah. Uh, so for his stats, he's got two actions, six movement, which is ridiculously high, fight of three, which is average, strength of two, which is not great, mm -hmm. guns of three, which is quite good, and a reflex of five, which is quite good. He's got a magic ability two, which is very useful for his spell, which is Contagious Enthusiasm, which is an Aura 1. <laughs> now, the reason you take this little guy, mm -hmm. he has a special ability called Sky Hussar. So it's an action. Discard a card in this model's suit. This model may be placed on any surface with no roof above it within 12 inches. So it's him basically launching off on his jetpack. Yeah. He can't land on, say you have uh, an area that's sort of uh, an open market area with a roof over that, he can't actually move into that while doing this, mm -hmm. you know, because he's going up and coming down. Yeah. But on top of that, he gets the Mad Plunge special rule. That sounds scary. <laughs> if this model uses Sky Hussar to be placed base to base with an enemy model, it may immediately make a melee attack against it with a plus three fight. Ooh. So he goes to fight six strength two, mm -hmm. which is really nasty whenever you're going for criticals. Uh, on top of that, the Contagious... Uh, enthusiasm. All friendly models within range may make one action immediately after this model finishes its activation. So right. I can use Sky Hussar to move. Mm -hmm. I'll get a free attack off that and mm -hmm. then use my last action to go for the Contagious Enthusiasm. Say I've got two golems in a fight with something of yours. They'll get an extra Yeah, And attack. then with the gang up rules, that is just going to be crushed. Yeah. Uh, also, it's this model is swift. Mm -hmm. So this model may use its reflex instead of its fight when defending in melee. Right. So instead of trying to defend on a fight of three, you're defending on a reflex of five. Yeah, so he's, that, that would represent him rather than using his blade. Yeah. He just uses his pack to sort of weave yeah, and dodge. Out the way. Yeah, yeah. Which is That's really, really cool. good. I like the sound I, of that. And I love the fact that he's actually just a little two-part mini. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Look at how cute this little guy is. He is awesome. So I absolutely adore this it. Li this little dumpy guy with his control in one hand, his little knife in the other, and just all bundled up for flying through the sky. I love the fact that they've incorporated his scarf to be like the way he's mounted to the base. Hi. <laughs> I like that as a really nice little touch. Yeah. And then you have his jetpack, which is, of course, a winged jetpack. He is crying out for some gorgeous brass and copper details. Mm. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you what, John, I'll let you build this set. So, uh, we'll go away here, John will get the minis built, and we'll show you them in a couple of minutes. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the myth hub on beastsofwar.com and begin your story. Okay, so we're back, John. You got them built. Yes. Let's start with Luigi. Okay, go for it. Because, like you said, the scarf is how he's attached to the base. Yes. So he's actually flying off the ground, which is quite cool. I absolutely love that. Mm. I, he is so cool. I, I would almost have been tempted to sort of tinker with the wings a little bit, maybe angle them differently, but mm. it's, for straight out of the blister, like he's a class-looking little model. Yeah, and really nasty in-game from what mm -hmm. we've been seeing, because once you actually start pairing him up with some cool stuff, it's really going to be good. Yeah. Because say you actually had our biocognitive golem mm -hmm. that it's built in a melee and sent him in, that would be really nasty. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. He is awesome. Yeah. Look at the arm, though. I love it. It's, it's, it's the Frankenstein's golem. Yes. <laughs> which is really cool. And it's some, something I want to point out that you maybe can't see on our close cams uh -huh. is that when you look at the lab mouse in the, the cockpit, he actually has all his controls. There's little dials, and there's little levers really? and stuff in there. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> um, I'm actually really looking forward to go off and I'm painting this guy for, <laughs> for the starter set I've been tinkering with. Because I, I remember when, um, when Luke Ash was in with oh. us. Yeah, uh, you checked it out. Um, he had a painted one of these with him. Aye. And I looked at it and he went, 
who do these remind you of? And I looked at it and went, oh my! <laughs> I was like, I have, I need this. <laughs> and I, it's going to be a lot of fun to paint because I love painting metallics. I yeah. love, I love look, making stuff look like it's oily or it's been used. And, yeah. You know, and it's going to look really nice, it's, hopefully. It's going to be really interesting to see how you finish this off. You'll have to bring mm -hmm. it on to a weekender once yes. you have it done. Yes, I will. I have the promise from you. Uh, yeah. You're, you're promising on camera um, to, to, to everybody out there I, in YouTube land? You're promising? And to, maybe not to YouTube, but to, to, to the Beast of War guys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I really like the look of these guys. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be a really nice addition to your starter force. Yep. So, uh, guys, stay tuned. I'll try and report back if I get John to play Volsung. Uh, drop your comments below. What do you think of these two kits? Would you like to add them to your forces? We'll move on, and we'll see you in the next video. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices, and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Keep your blaster handy. The West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at BeastsOfWar.com.